The five key benefits of a holistic focus on wellness, the power of wholeness. If you're still unclear as to what this training brings to the table, here are the five key benefits of a holistic focus on a sense of wholeness. Benefit number one, deep impact on your complete being. What if I told you that there are a lot of millionaires who commit suicide? What if I told you that there are a lot of people who grew up in very privileged backgrounds, but feel that they are living empty and pointless lives? What if I told you that there are lots of people who seem to have their act together, but they constantly feel that they are falling apart? They are under so much stress thinking that, at any given moment, everything will just give way. The reason why a lot of people suffer from these stresses is because they did not focus on their complete being. Sure, you may have a couple of million dollars in the bank, but that doesn't really help your health. It doesn't really help your mood. You feel imbalanced. The great thing about focusing on the whole you is you achieve a tremendous sense of inner calm. Things fall into place. You can see the big meaning behind your life, and this ultimately leads to a sense of control. You're no longer feeling adrift. You no longer think that there's really not much going on in your life despite the fact that certain areas of your life are doing well. You operate with a sense of purpose. There's a sense of joy uniting everything. Wholeness makes this all possible because it strikes deep. It doesn't just focus on getting your act together when it comes to certain parts of your life. It looks at the big picture. It sees that everything is tied together. And the more progress you make patching things up in certain areas of your life, the more peace, calm, and assurance you will get when it comes to other parts. Benefit number two, integrated approach to well-being. I like using the analogy of the squeeze balloon because it really highlights how integrated a complete human being is. When you push on one aspect of a person, it impacts all other areas of their life. The balloon analogy also brings home the point that you don't know which part is more greatly affected. You know that any kind of change in any area will have an effect on a person's whole system, but some are more impacted than others. Adopting a wholeness lifestyle approach looks at your well-being as a complete system. It doesn't slice and dice you like traditional Western medicine. It doesn't just deal with your psychiatric mood or biochemical state. Instead, it fires on all cylinders at all times. It looks at the many different heaps that make up who you are. These then flow together and lead to a more comprehensive and sustainable set of changes. Just as importantly, a lot of this is internal. In fact, changing your assumptions and expectations regarding certain parts of your life could have a tremendous impact on your physical health, the kind of work you do, and your overall stress levels. Benefit number three, organic-centered. Another great benefit to a holistic approach on wholeness is the fact that it is chemical-free. We're going to teach you certain truths that will enable you to make changes based on your willpower and your attitude. You're not going to be taking some sort of pill or capsule to make your problems go away. Instead, everything is organic. It all involves your ability to focus and decide. Benefit number four, nature-centered. One of the biggest drawbacks to traditional Western medicine is that it often boils down to human beings putting their stamp on Mother Nature. The idea is that human nature is so wild so unpredictable that you just have to apply some sort of artificial template on it to get it under control. We take a completely different view. Instead, you have certain natural tendencies. Instead of having to apologize for them or outright cancel or neutralize them, we teach you to work with these inner natural tendencies. It's kind of like working with a river. You can either work with the flow of the river to create a dam, which produces electricity, or you can reroute the river by digging new trenches and changing its flow. Now, you may be thinking that changing the flow of a river is easy, but if it rains really hard or certain climate changes happen, you'd be surprised as to how quickly that river goes back to its natural state. Usually, the best approach would be to work with Mother Nature instead of against it. The same applies to human nature. There is such a thing as human nature. We all have tendencies. These are hardwired. Instead of looking at the world based on how we wish it was, a wholeness approach works with people based on the way the world actually is. Benefit number five, centered on personal choice and autonomy. The wholeness principle that we're going to teach you in this training enables you to take control over your life. A lot of your frustration and anxiety really boils down to the impression that at some level or another, you have no control. This eats away at you. It prevents you from achieving inner peace because at some point, you feel that regardless of what you do, you're really not in control. This leads to a downward spiral of powerlessness and a lack of purpose. You feel like you're just going through the motions at a certain point. When you apply the things that we teach you in this training, you regain that sense of choice. The more power you take back, the more independent you feel. You no longer feel that you are at the mercy of what other people think of you. You no longer feel that your genetic predispositions rule your life. In other words, you start seeing yourself in perspective. 
that there is a lot you can do about the direction and the quality of your life. This makes you a more responsible, independent, and ultimately, a more powerful person.